Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about contingency table. Contingency table is very important for analyzing the categorical variable. So here we can see here we have a small sample size 10 and here gender is male and female is given. It is the binary outcome and smoking some of the smokers, some of the non-smokers. This is the all again binary outcome. So here is small sample size we have taken for the understanding, but it may be 100, 10,000, thousands. It's many more. It's depend on the sample size. We can create the contingency table. So here with help of this table, this is the known as the contingency table. Here is smoking is a binary outcome. Yes and no. Here gender is the binary outcome, male and female. So in this table, we can interpret table representing all combination of labels of explanatory variable and response variable. Explanatory variable is the independent variable. Response variable is the dependent variable or outcome variable. We can say our response variable. We can say nomenclature is different, but, but uh, meaning is same. So number in the table represents counts. Here number represents in the table is counts is three means three males, those are smokers and two males, those are non-smokers. So in each cell, it represents the number of cases. A row and column totals. So row totals and column totals, this is the 10. So it is known as the marginal counts. So this is the basic information about contingency table. In contingency table, we need to understand about cross classification of the categorical variable in which row typically represents explanatory variable. So in rows, always we input independent variable and columns represents categories of response variables means in once we are going to create see the table like this this is the column and this is the row so in column we always put the response variable and in rows we'll always put the explanatory variable or independent variable this is the very important points we need to understand now counts in sales of the table give the number of individuals at the corresponding combination of level of the two variables. And contingency table enable us to compare one characteristics of the sample. For example, smoking defined by another categorical variable, for example, genders. So this is about contingency table. We need to understand once we are going to analyze categorical data so how we'll create the contingency table this is the basic informations thank you everyone